So molecular imaging has many techniques to allow you to see deep within the body. For example, one common technique is we send a molecule into your body that does a house-to-house -house search. It goes cell by cell looking for another molecule. When it finds it, it sends a signal to us that we can detect coming from deep within your body. This is sort of like a molecular spy that is injected into you and then kind of looks around looking for an error. For example, that molecular spy might be designed to look for an abnormal protein inside a cancer cell. So this molecular spy will wander around, go into one cell, then the next cell, then the next cell, looking for that abnormal protein. When it identifies it, it will send a signal. And these signals can be what are called gamma rays. These are rays that come out of your body, penetrate through many layers of tissue, and then we detect them using a special camera like a positron emission tomography or PET camera. These signals can sometimes be sound waves that come from inside your body, and then we can listen for them using very sensitive ears. These signals can sometimes be optical in nature, just like visible light or near infrared light. Then we're listening for light waves coming from inside your body. Anytime we detect these signals, we know where that molecule is, that spy that we put into your body. And because we know what the spy is designed to go find, we can then infer that it has found something because that's the only reason we can see the signal from within your body.